Live tonight, we're hearing from the family of the Kendall man who was arrested Tuesday night following a police-involved shooting that injured three Miami-Dade police officers. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at the scene of the gun battle in Kendall with what the suspect's family had to say. Amber? Well, Elliot, they basically told us their loved one is sick, has been for a while, but he's never showed any violent tendencies whatsoever until now. Sean Kasravi apologized for his son's behavior on Tuesday night. My son Aramis is not a violent person. His 32-year-old son Aramis was arrested for shooting at Miami-Dade police officers at his home here on Southwest 89th Terrace. Neighbors had called police after hearing gunshots. When officers arrived, three of them were hit by debris and shrapnel struck one officer's ankle. They were all treated at the hospital and released. Those with mental illness do not think and do not have the same logical process as you and I. His father revealed his son has been suffering with mental illness and has schizophrenia, something he's been struggling with for the past 15 years. And while the family says the 32-year-old never showed any violent tendencies, they went through the appropriate channels to make sure their son couldn't get his hands on a gun. I have notified the state agencies of his condition. And it's very puzzling as to how he has been able to obtain and have access to, uh, to that. Back out here live in Kendall, because Ravi's father says he has no idea where his son got that gun. In Kendall, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News. Amber, thank you. Now